We're on the high bank of Rock Creek in Pottawatomie County. Uh, you can see at the bottom it's quite a drop. I don't know, 20, 30 foot almost. Uh, there's a bucket down there in the creek and in that bucket is a pump and connected in between that red hose and the pump is a little heater that's going to turn on uh, early in the morning prior to the time we want to turn the pump on. Uh, there's a timer on the heater and a timer on the pump. So the heater will turn on in the morning, run for a while, and then when we want to turn the pump on, then the pump will turn on after the heater's been going. The pump will pump the water up that red hose you can see coming up. Uh, and when the pump turns off, the water needs to flow all the way back down to the creek, into the to that bucket at the water level of the creek. So that's why it's going downhill. We get clear up here to the top, and we need to have something that will keep the cows from stepping on it. So we got a super duty steel pipe here, and, it, and then the hose runs underneath this trailer on a slant going uphill continuously all the way out. There. Uh, we're running a 24 volt pump system. You can see what the pump looks like here. So here's the pump that's in the bottom of that bucket and on top of there is a little heater. So inside that bucket is this pump just like this one and a four inch piece of pipe sitting on top of this outlet from the pump. And inside the four inch piece of pipe is a galvanized piece of, of metal pipe about this size. It's about this long and this little heat cable is wrapped around that galvanized metal and around that is some insulation and it all slides down into that four inch piece of pipe. And that bucket has a little float on it to keep it from, from uh, sinking down to the bottom. And actually if the water level in the creek would change, it should uh, regulate itself. So this heater is always going to be right at the level of the water in the creek. And our timer is going to turn on. That will heat that little piece of pipe up. Uh, and then it will be able to flow free when the pump turns on. So it's a 24 volt pump. Got two 12 volt panels hooked up in series inside the black box. There's two 12 volt batteries hooked up in series and the, two, the charge controller and the two timers that I mentioned. So we're going to have a cold day tomorrow morning. We'll see how it works out.